Today we're going to be giving this super beat up table and chair set a much needed makeover. I start this makeover by sanding the tabletop. I'm sanding with the 150 grit sanding paper because I know that the top layer is already pretty thin so it's not going to take much to sand it off. I plan on using this table and chairs on my patio outside. I have an awning over my garage in my backyard and I think this would be really cute underneath. I bring the table inside, flip it upside down, and I'm going to take the hardware out so I can take the legs off. This will make it a lot easier for me to paint the legs and get a nice smooth finish. But before I start painting, I need to clean my piece. I'm using Dixie Belle's White Lightning Cleaner. When I finish cleaning my piece, I just wipe it down with a wet rag with warm water on it. I thought this would be the perfect project to try out the foam and dandy brushes. For the base of my table, my chairs, and my legs, I'm going to be using Dixie Bells in the Navy. It's their chalk mineral line. And I'm using the foam and dandy brush because I don't want there to be a lot of brush strokes, but also because it's foam, I'm not going to have to worry about it running down the to the tabletop where I had just sanded. I just felt that I had a lot more control using the foam and dandy brush. So on the legs, I have them sitting on two paint containers. I had to paint two sides at a time so that I didn't smudge my paint. And using the foam and dandy brush, I felt like I could make sure, like right now, I just went up the side to make sure that there were no drips before putting it on its back. And here's what it looks like dried after the first coat. Now I'm applying my second coat and that's all I'm going to need is two coats of In the Navy to cover. Also, I have my tabletop flipped upside down and it is on my stool so that I can turn it the way I'm turning it. So I'm actually sitting on the floor and my table is sitting on my stool. I'm heading back outside and it's an extremely windy day, but I'm taking my chairs apart. I'm going to take the back off and then the seat off so that I can make sure that I'm getting a really nice smooth finish. And I want to make sure that I'm cleaning any grime off. So first I'm going to use my um, Dixie Bell's White Lightning again once I can get all the hardware out. So my weather is not ideal yet for patio furniture. But in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna have this project all finished and ready to go. And then I can pressure wash my yard and clean everything up and it will be ready for my new furniture. Now I'm using In the Navy and I'm painting the chairs, the back and the bottom part of the chairs. I'm using the foam and dandy brush again because I have such linear pieces. There, there are no round spindles on these chairs. They're just very flat and long, so the foam and dandy brush came in handy <laughs> once again. Because I'm using this as outdoor furniture, I'm going to use Dixie Bell's Gator Hide to seal it. Dixie Bell's Gator Hide is water repellent and it's a pretty heavy duty sealer. If you haven't found Dixie Bell's Gator Hide online, um, don't worry, they are going to have it back in stock pretty soon. Whenever I seal on a dark piece of furniture, I always add a little bit of paint into my sealer because it helps reduce the look of any streaks. And I'm using the two inch foam and dandy brush to apply my sealer.
Now for the last chair, I decided to put my chalk mineral paint in a paint sprayer and give that a try. And that was incredibly easy. I just added a little bit of water and this was done so quickly. After spraying the last chair, I decided that spraying with gator hide to seal the chairs would be my best bet. So I just added the gator hide into my sprayer with the in the navy color because I still want to dye my gator hide just a little bit just to tint it. When you're spraying with the gator hide, you don't have to add any water or anything like that because it's already pretty thin and it went on so beautifully. I added three coats of gator hide to all the chairs I'm using Dixie Bell's Voodoo Gel Stain in Au Naturel. I'm going to apply it in sections using an applicator pad to spread it out. I think that the natural color on top paired with the in the navy will give this table a really classic look. It'll look clean and almost coastal so it'll be perfect for the summer in the backyard. I like the Voodoo Gel Stain because it's water-based. I can use it in my house to stain, so I don't have to keep taking everything back outside and inside and back outside and inside. I can actually work in one place, and that's really, really nice for me. I'm focusing on having an even application. If I find that there's a little bit too much stain in one spot, I'll just flip my applicator pad and wipe it back. Um, if I need to add a second coat, I'll do that. But at this point, I'm just trying to make sure that everything's nice and even, and I'm almost rubbing the stain into the wood. So I wait for the stain to dry, and then I come back a couple hours later and I add my second coat. I'm super thrilled with the way that the top turned out. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I take it outside and I need to seal it now. And I'm also gonna do three coats of gator hide with my sprayer. Now let's just do a quick reminder of what we started with. It was in pretty bad condition. And here's what it looks like today. I love it so much. That top is gorgeous. You can still see all the beautiful wood grain, but it's nice and even, and it still has that natural look. I feel like the table and chairs look so modern and gorgeous. Now I have to get a new rug to match. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and I will see you next week.